Hey everybody, here we are today, starting in big on the, uh, the car. Um, so we are hoping to test fit that, the LS, into this, the Crown Vic. And first thing we had to do was get the old Ford motor mounts off. And this car being what it is, those were a huge pain in the ass. So there is two, three bolts that hold these in. That one is the only one that's accessible from the underneath. There's an access hole in the cross member here. Uh, this one, there is no access hole and it's covered by the uh, upper control arm. And the bottom one, God only knows how you get to that one. I'm sure the control arm has to come out there too. So eventually we undid the one and then we broke out the reciprocating saw and said F you and just took it out that way. Um, so that's been an hour of our morning. And <laughs> the next step is gonna be, uh, we're gonna throw the LS in there or hang it in there and uh, see how things fit up. And um, then after that, hopefully we're gonna go and get these body mounts out of there. Um, we did cut off the front two here that go underneath the radiator support. And as usual, nothing makes sense here. Um, they're basically a, what looks like a two piece design. So that goes in from that direction. And basically they sit like this. This comes up from the bottom. And then there's a big bolt that comes through. Well, the bolt isn't threaded all the way through there. It's only threaded up top where the uh, nut would go to hold the uh, body onto the mount. So hopefully we're gonna be able to get the rest of these out without using a Sawzall or a grinder or something of that nature. Cause that's really gonna make it a pain in the ass for the next 14 mounts. But we'll uh, up you guys, update you guys when we get to that. Thanks. All right, everyone, quick update here. Uh, we have the engine hanging there. Um, so we've just spent some time here figuring out motor mounts. We got some cardboard templates there and uh, you can see where this is gonna sit on the cross member. Um, so we're gonna have to cut down the, uh, the mounts that we have, which is these guys. So this is what came with the kit and obviously considerably larger than we need, which is a good thing, but we'll cut those down to fit the templates. Um, overall, it's fitting pretty good actually. For those of you, and I know there's probably all of like three of you in the world doing an LS swap into a Crown Vic. Um, this is a Gen 4, uh, it's an L24.8. And this is the truck pan out of a van um, or a you know Silverado, Sierra, whatever. But this is the truck pan. Um, I've got about, I'd say just a hair over an inch of clearance between the bottom of the pan and the cross member. And then below the cross member, I mean, there's almost nothing hanging down. So in this scenario, you really don't need a different pan for clearance underneath, um, which is a big relief. Let's see here, from the firewall to the back of the block, we've got a fair amount of space there too. Um, we could have probably gone back further, but that would have required creating some sort of extension plate or something off of the back of the cross member to get the engine moved back further. Um, even if we slid these all the way back, we'd still have a good two and a half inches, three inches there maybe. Um, but this way, this is gonna give us a good access to the bell housing bolts. And um, yeah, that's easy access to stuff is just as important on a car like this where, you know, it's probably gonna come out once or twice a month. So that is where we're at right now. The uh, next step is we're gonna make sure we got everything where we want it. We're gonna mark the uh, spot where the mounts are gonna be welded on. And then uh, we're gonna weld the mounts onto the cross member. And we will see you again here soon. Okay guys, we're back here with another quick update. Um, we decided to throw the transmission on the back here. Um, just so we could see where 
things are pointing in the back and so we didn't have a drive shaft that wants to come through the back wheel or something. Um, underneath here, got in a pretty good position now, but we are running into issues where we are hitting, we're hitting the uh, transmission tunnel underneath. I don't know if you can see that or not there. So we will have to cut out the tunnel to make some room for the, the 6L90. Um, so right now, we're gonna start going after body mounts, get body mounts off, and then uh, raise the body up so we can get this thing positioned exactly where we want it. Um, even with the manifolds on, we still got good clearance. We got really good clearance there. <clears throat> and um, yeah, we got clearance of the exhaust manifolds. Everything looks happy. This engine looks so much smaller than the 4.6 that came out of here. So hopefully next video here, you're gonna see this thing with no body on it.